What's up everybody, this is Tuba Solo coming at you. Well, I just received something in the mail from Soto Stoves. This is gonna give us a chance to fix that Amicus stove. Let's get into this thing. My name is Steve and this channel is all about hiking, backpacking, and enjoying the outdoors in Southern California and beyond. If that interests you, consider subscribing. So a couple days ago, I did a video on the Soto Amicus stove and um, you can go ahead and check it out here in the card. I'll go ahead and link it up in the card. Uh, if you watch that video, you know that I ran into some trouble with the piezo igniter. Ultimately, long story short, I kind of figured that the piezo igniter is defective. I went ahead and I called up Soto Stoves and uh, they quickly shipped me out a brand new one. So what we're going to do in this video is we're actually going to remove the old piezo uh, igniter and replace it with the new piezo igniter that I got from Soto today. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. The easiest way to get this out is to actually take this screw right here and this screw right here out. Now they are super duper tiny, so you do not want to lose these anywhere. I will drop that over there, so that's number one. And you can actually pull the piezo igniter out already. The reason I'm saying that you can do it taking uh, that you can actually take out the second one is it actually makes it a little bit easier to thread the piezo igniter back in and before I actually pull this apart I'll show you what I'm talking about so if you were to just take out one screw like I said you could easily remove this piezo igniter no problem just comes right out of that so I can bring it a little bit closer it comes right out of that tube right over there problem is, is when you're, it's time to thread the piezo wire back in through that tube, uh, it almost becomes impossible because of the angle that you have to go at. So what I did is actually take out the second screw, and what that does is it allows the regulator to be separated from the shaft of the stove. And now you have complete access to the tube where you're going to run the piezo wire back up into the stove. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that guy down. This right here is the bad piezo. Um, I actually took this off earlier and I noticed that at some point, um, yeah I took it off earlier and I put it back on the stove to kind of show you guys how, how you remove the piezo, but I don't know if it'll do it here on camera. Let's see here if we can get this to focus. essentially right around here I guess you can't really see it right around here it looked like the wire was breached or something I was getting sparks from that from that spot right there and essentially it was not it was not working correctly so I don't know if something had happened with the wire but yeah needless to say it was just a bad piezo so let's go ahead and rip into this package and see what the new piezo looks like so this is what was in there Looks like we got possibly some directions and the actual piezo itself. So let's go ahead and break this thing open. Okay. Okay, so this just says uh, over here the attention says that it's only for a amicus stove. And look at that, it looks nice. They, they gave us a whole... Uh, I guess you can call it a, a cover for the piezo and if you look inside there they gave us one screw so I guess maybe their their suggested method is just take out one screw when I was trying to thread the piezo wire back in earlier when I was trying to figure out what was wrong with the when I was, what was wrong with the amicus I really struggled to get that thing in so I just decided to go ahead and pull the other side off and um, just make it a little bit easier on myself so the first thing that we want to do, let's see here, so it's going to be like that. We're going to thread this wire back into here. Let's see here if I can do this in one shot here. Uh, let's see, okay. So there you go. So first thing that you do is you thread the wire back into um, the I guess the wire tube I guess you can call it okay 
we're going to go ahead and hold everything together. And if you'll notice over here, the um, the regulator, or I guess the base of the stove, has a little cutout for the for the tube. So you just want to make sure that when you're putting it back together, that that tube fits into that cutout right over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that guy back in there. Okay, so it's in the cutout, and then what you want to do is you just want to get everything back together and make sure that the hole aligns. Okay, and then you just give it one little shove in there to just make sure that it's in there. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and grab your case, or your I guess your piezo casing, and Go ahead and line that up, and it actually kind of clicks in. Okay. And now basically the stove is back together. We just got to add those those screws back in there. So let's go ahead and... Okay, so again, you just want to make sure that the hole is lined up. And then go ahead and crank it down. So that's one of them in there. And then we're going to go ahead and get the second one. Let's make sure that that's straightened up. Okay. And that is it. That is how you replace the piezo on a soto stove. When I was working with the uh, Windmaster, uh, same same basic idea. When I had taken this off, again, same basic idea. Pull out the uh, screw in there, unthread the wire. The difference with this one is that it doesn't have a second one, so this one, yeah, if I recall correctly, I did have to re-thread the wire back into the tube. Um, but it wasn't that difficult of a process. There was actually a lot more room than over here on the Amicus. There, there I really struggled when I was messing around with this guy. But uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and see if the piezo actually works now. Okay, I'm seeing a spark. But that was the only spark I saw. Hmm. Yep, no, I'm seeing some sparks. Yeah, they're going. Okay, it looks like it's actually working a lot better than before. So let's go ahead and attach this to a canister. Yeah, that thing is actually sealed. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this thing a go, man. I'm going to pull out the uh, shot here a little bit. Go a little bit wider. So we can get a better look and kind of keep this a little bit further away from the camera. Get this guy out of the way. And here we go. Alright. There you go. Just a few clicks and it fired up. No problem. Love it. Let's try it again. There you go. Two clicks. Totally normal. Let's try it again here. One click. Last time. There you go. Working like a dream. Well, there you go, everyone. So it's that simple. I had a bad piezo, and Soto sent me another one. Now my Soto am Amicus is ready to rock and roll. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the bell for notifications, that way you never miss a video. And if you found this video helpful, let me know by clicking on the thumbs up down below. Until next time, take care.